Yes, lads, welcome back to the channel for another video. And in today's one, I am going to be previewing Harrogate Town. Now, um, I am away this weekend, so I am pre-recording two or three, well, three of these in advance in case I can't, you know, record them uh, when I'm away. So I'm literally sat here recording this one, as you're seeing right now, Harrogate, recording tomorrow's video, which is Hartley Port, and then also recording Sunday's video, uh, Leighton Orient as well just to um, ensure that I can get the video out for you guys. Before we get into it, make sure to absolutely smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, and please make sure to comment your thoughts down below as well um, on all of these videos. It really does help the channel grow um, and allows us to become a lot more consistent. So thank you for uh, your, your continued support, sorry, as always. Um, today, like I said, we're going to talk about Harrogate Town. Now, last season, Harrogate finished in 19th place on 53 points now if you look at you know sort of prior to last season uh you know the season that that's just gone harrogate were unbelievable when they came up um you know a breath of fresh air to the league they look so composed they look relaxed they they look like they didn't you know they, they weren't phased by you know being the first time ever in the um the football league they played some really nice football they went and beat some very big teams uh, in League 2 in their first season. Second season, there was a massive drop-off. I know they stayed up and they played well at times, uh, but you could just see the drop-off in terms of where the intensity was, where the belief was in that first season compared to, to last season. 19th place, 53 points is still you know, a massive achievement for them, and I believe that they're just going to be a solid uh, League 2 team now going forward. Uh, top goal scorer last season was Jack Diamond scoring 13 goals for them. Um, look, I believe that, you know, you take that, you take them 13 goals away from, from Harrogate last season and they could have been in a relegation scrap. I think Jack Diamond, you know, got them over the line uh, in, in many aspects in that um, season for them. I thought at times, you know, they, they look really good. At times they look really poor and sloppy. Um, and maybe those 13 goals from Jack Diamond you know, if they, they didn't happen, then potentially it could have been a, a you know a long season ahead. Um, but the goals did happen and they did stay up, so fair play to them. Uh, looking at a key player for this season then, I've picked out Jack Muldoon. And the reason why I've picked out Jack Muldoon, I just think, obviously, they, they don't have uh, Jack Diamond there. You know, there's, that you're looking at the, the squad and, and you're like, there's players in there that can make an impact. And I think Jack Muldoon is someone who you know, was, was very good for them in the National League. Hasn't, I don't think he's really made the step up to Football League as of yet, which I think he will. Um, and yeah, it's going to be an interesting season for him. I think he's probably going to be the one that they look to to try and keep them in the division because I think there's still going to be a lot of people that put them potentially to get relegated because they've had two seasons here now. Are they going to be phased by the third season? A lot of big teams coming up. Uh, are coming down and, you know, obviously Stockport Grimsby coming up makes the league 10 times harder. Um, so, yeah, I think he will be the key player for them. I think he will be the one that potentially uh, keeps them in the league. Now, because I'm recording um, three episodes in one, I'm not going to be able to get a fan on for Harrogate, Hartlepool, Leighton Orient. I just, it's not viable because I need to pre-record them and get them out for each of the next three days. Um, so I'm going to use instead of like a fan poll because I haven't had time to do that yet. So in terms of um, the prediction side of it, I haven't got a guest, I haven't got a fan poll. I'm going to use my rough prediction. I'm not going to say they'll finish in this position due to the, the league predictions coming out um, later on in the month. But in terms of my rough prediction for Harrogate Town, I'm going to go somewhere between 12th and 17th. I think progression from last season, trying to get into that top half. Um, but I think they will fall short, and I think it'll be like a mid-table, 13th, 14th, something like that, potentially. Or maybe even lower on that sort of estimate, like 15th, 16th. Um, but yeah, I do think they will comfortably stay up. And that is where we're going to wrap up this episode then, guys. Please make sure to absolutely smash uh, a like and subscribe on the video. Please comment your thoughts down below if you're a Harrogate fan, if you're a non-Harrogate fan. Your thoughts and feelings on Harrogate Town going into the new season. Do you believe they could stay up? Do you believe they could finish mid-table or even higher? Do you believe they could be a, an absolute dark horse to potentially get promoted out of the league? Like I said, like, share and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video um, and thanks for watching. Stay well and stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. If you're watching this on the premiere, 
get involved in the chat or, you know, hopefully, hopefully you already have. Uh, and comment your thoughts down below in the comments video. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.